Hello everyone welcome back to my channel I hope everyone good. Today video, we are giving live to ancient equipped wall painting into animation video. Please watch full check out the regenerated images into video new technology, kindly share in WhatsApp status and friends. Also the history of full ancient here explaining clearly. The Valley of Kings has significant cultural and natural heritage, considered to be of outstanding value to humanity. The valley has been preserved due to its adopted world heritage status, the valley of marks a remarkable accomplishment of humanity, and serves as evidence of our intellectual history on the planet. The valley is also protected as it is a great natural beauty. The Valley of Kings makes an appearance in this Egyptian show reel exclusively represented by Bridgman images. High quality HD footage highlights Egypt's historical, cultural and social wonders. Images in this article are brought to life when looked at through the lens of spectacular footage. I have chosen this beautiful image of a painting of the West Bank of Thebes to round off the end of this article. The pink valley in the background radiates against the cool blues rippling in the waters below. Two men on donkeys converse whilst the sunlight highlights their white clothing. This image portrays the beauty of Egypt, its warmth and the underlying mystery of the past. How does one ascend to the position of a pharaoh? Typically, individuals were born into the rights of a pharaoh. In instances where a pharaoh left no heir, a son from a prominent family would be chosen as the successor. Is a pharaoh synonymous with a king? Yes, a pharaoh served as an Egyptian king, with the title becoming closely associated with the ancient rulers. An Egyptian pharaoh or king held the dual roles of a religious and political leader for their people. Who held the titles of the first and last pharaohs of Egypt, Anama, also known as Mens is widely regarded as the inaugural pharaoh of Egypt, while Cleopatra VII is recognized as the final pharaoh. Following Cleopatra's demise, the Roman Empire assumed control over Egypt, who is considered the most ancient pharaoh, historians commonly identify Mens, or Nama, as the initial Egyptian pharaoh. Many attribute the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt under one ruler through conquest to Mens with his reign spanning from 3407 BCE to 3346 BCE, was the pharaoh revered as a deity. During the early kingdom era, Egyptian pharaohs were revered as gods in human form. As time progressed into the middle and late kingdoms, they were regarded as the direct link between commoners and the divine entities. Pharaohs were ancient Egyptian rulers who were both religious leaders and heads of state. Their importance in ancient Egypt is undeniably paramount. Early Egyptian rulers were called kings but over time the name pharaoh became commonly used. The pharaoh represents a middle intermediary between the Egyptians and the gods. They are considered divine supreme beings. Many of these images show either statues or death masks of ancient Egyptian pharaohs, statues commemorated the pharaoh that had passed. Death masks were created for souls to be able to recognize their bodies and return to them safely in the afterlife. King Tutankhamun was an ancient Egyptian pharaoh who ruled between 1334 to 1325 BC. Tutankhamun was the last of his royal family to rule during the end of the 18th dynasty. Cleopatra VII was the queen of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt. The Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt was an ancient Hellenistic state. Cleopatra's leadership saw her forestall the fall of Egypt to the Roman Empire. Amenhope III was the ninth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty. He ruled Egypt from June 1386 to 1349 BC. He reigned during the peak of Egypt's artistic and international power. King Nama was an ancient Egyptian pharaoh of the early dynastic period. Scholars have considered Nama the unifier of Egypt and founder of the first dynasty. Rameses III was the second pharaoh of the 20th dynasty in ancient Egypt. Rameses III reigned from 1186 to 1155 BC and is believed to have been the last great monarch of the new kingdom to wield power over Egypt. Thutmose I was the third pharaoh of the 18th dynasty of Egypt. 
cut Mosai campaign deep into the Levant and Nubia, pushing the borders of Egypt farther than before. Ppi Mariah was an ancient Egyptian pharaoh and the third king of the Sixth Dynasty of Egypt. He ruled for over 40 years during the 24th and 23rd centuries BC, towards the end of the Old Kingdom period. Utakaf was a pharaoh of ancient Egypt and the founder of the Fifth Dynasty. Utakaf reigned during the Old Kingdom period for seven to eight years in early 25th century BC. It is believed that Utakaf may have been a high priest of Ra before ascending to the throne. Jedefre was an ancient Egyptian pharaoh king of the Fourth Dynasty during the Old Kingdom. Jedefre was the son and immediate throne successor of Khufu, the builder of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Nefertiti was a queen of the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt and the great royal wife of Pharaoh Akhenaten. Nefertiti and her husband were known to lead a religious revolution as the couple only believed in one god, Aten, the disk of the sun. The Valley of the Kings also known as the Valley of the Gates of the Kings is a valley in Egypt and one of the most popular sites and landmarks to visit. For a period of nearly 500 years from the 16th to 11th century BC, rock tombs were excavated in the area for powerful nobles and pharaohs of the Egyptian New Kingdom. The valley is located on the west bank of the Nile, within the heart of the Theban necropolis and opposite Thebes, modern Luxor. Since the 18th century, the valley has been a focus of Egyptological and archaeological exploration. 63 tombs and chambers are known to be placed within the valley. English archaeologist Howard Carter discovered King Tutankhamun's tomb in the Valley of the Kings in 1922. 100 years ago, the tomb of Tutankhamun was announced a World Heritage Site in 1979 and is now recognized as one of the most famous archaeological sites in the world. In this article, we would like you to explore the wonderful images of Egypt and the Valley of Kings in the archive. I inserted the candle and peered in, Lord Carnarvon, Lady Evelyn and Calendar standing anxiously beside me to hear the verdict. At first, I could see nothing, the hot air escaping from the chamber causing the candle flame to flicker, but presently, Miraculous treasures found in King Tutankhamun's tomb have generated enormous interest in the history of Egypt. These treasures are now on display in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Before Tutankhamun's discovery, the valley for the last two centuries has been a major focus for modern Egyptological exploration. Members of French military leader Napoleon's expedition to Egypt drew maps and plans of the known tombs in the area. The Valley of the Kings was explored by Europeans throughout the 19th century. The area was visited by prolific Italian explorer Giovanni Belzoni, working for Henry Salt. Belzoni discovered several tombs including the tomb of Pharaoh A, the penultimate pharaoh of ancient Egypt's 18th dynasty in 1816 and Seti I. The following year, Seti I was also a pharaoh of the New Kingdom and the father of Rameses II. After Belzoni's magnificent discoveries, he declared that nothing in the valley remained to be found and all of the tombs had been located. The valley contains hundreds of tombs, some of which are yet to be excavated and others have not yet been found. Tombs were cut into the limestone rock in the valley on the west side of the Nile. The earliest tombs were found at the top of scree slopes, under storm-fed waterfalls. The most complex and largest tomb in the Valley of the Kings is believed to have been built to contain the burial chambers of many of the sons of Rameses II. Rameses II was the third pharaoh of the 19th dynasty of Egypt. This tomb was located in the late 1980s and partially excavated in the 1990s. John Gardner Wilkinson was an English traveler, writer, and pioneer who lived in Egypt from 1821 to 1832. Wilkinson copied many of the inscriptions and artwork in the tombs open at the time. He assembled a chronology of New Kingdom rulers based on inscriptions in the tombs. Wilkinson also established a system of tomb numbering which has been used with additions ever since. The Valley of Kings has significant cultural and natural heritage, 
considered to be of outstanding value to humanity. The valley has been preserved due to its adopted world heritage status. The valley marks a remarkable accomplishment of humanity and serves as evidence of our intellectual history on the planet. The valley is also protected as it is a great natural beauty. The Valley of Kings makes an appearance in this Egyptian show reel exclusively represented by Bridgman images. High quality HD footage highlights Egypt's historical, cultural, and social wonders. Images in this article are brought to life when looked at through the lens of spectacular footage. I have chosen this beautiful image of a painting of the West Bank of Thebes to round off the end of this article. The pink valley in the background radiates against the cool blues rippling in the waters below. Two men on donkeys converse whilst the sunlight highlights their white clothing. This image portrays the beauty of Egypt, its warmth, and the underlying mystery of the past. Thank mm -hmm. you.